Welcome to the tutorial video on how to use Equatio, where we'll highlight the main features of the toolbar, including Equation Editor, the Latex Editor, Graphing Editor, the Handwriting Recognition Tool, the Speech Input, and the Mobile Option. Equatio is not only available in the Google Suite, but also through using the Windows-based version of Equatio, which can be downloaded in the Windows App Store and used in Microsoft Word. It is also available in Mac OS through the Chrome Store, and there is also a standalone product that works through Google Chrome called Equatio MassBase. We will be using the MassBase option for this video. Once you have accessed the MassBase in Equatio, you will see a toolbar at the bottom of your screen. You will see a variety of input methods which we are going to cover in more detail throughout this video. The first blue rectangle option will provide you with details about the Equatio version you are using, the font size, the language options, and how to contact support. To access the numerous equation options available in Equatio, ensure the prediction tool is turned on. The first input option is the equation editor. The three dots in the middle of your toolbar will allow you to drag up and down to give yourself more space inside of Equatio to input your math. The green emoji icon will show you if the math is recognizable by Equatio. If this turns red, the math cannot be recognized and you will need to edit the math accordingly. Within the equation editor, there is a vast prediction library available. There is also a small toolbar above the equation editor with additional options like the text option to insert text into your document, the color option to change the color of your math, the clear button which will allow you to delete your math from the equation editor, and the more button. Here you will find additional symbols and formulas you can use, but the prediction tools should input these for you as you type. There is also a small blue button called Equatio Academy where you will find helpful tips and tricks to navigate Equatio as you become more familiar with the program. Next, let's try and insert a math equation. If I start typing in a formula, it will allow me to write what I'm trying to input, such as a square root or squared. I can even type in over to show fractions in my equations. If I want to insert a common formula, such as the quadratic formula or the correlation coefficient, I can start typing that name into the math editor and the prediction tool will bring that formula up. When I'm ready to insert the math, I can select the insert math button and it will bring it into my document. The next input option is the LaTeX editor. When you select the LaTeX button, you will notice that the prediction box has moved over to the right hand side. If I type in my math expressions in the predictor editor, it will continue to update it in the LaTeX version of that formula. This could be a great way to learn LaTeX, but also for more advanced users, you can use LaTeX to create math expressions digitally and add them directly into your document. The next input feature is the Graph Editor by Desmos. This allows the user to see a visual representation in real time using the graphing option. Once you create your graph, select Insert Graph to add to your document. Next is the Handwriting Recognition Tool. This option would be great for users who have a touchscreen device and use a stylus pen, but users can also write their math using their mouse, trackpad, or even their finger to dictate their math. The math will then be digitized on the right. This feature would be a great way to make your math more legible as you take notes by using the Equatio platform to automatically digitize your handwritten math notes. Next we will review the speech input option, which will allow the user to dictate their math using speech to text. The math will be recorded on the left and dictated digitally on the right. Equatio's speech engine also avoids non-math words from being dictated. When recording your math, try to avoid non-math terms as much as possible. To start, select the red record button and then speak your math aloud and watch it as it dictates on the right hand side. F bracket X close bracket equals X cubed minus 3X plus 2. When you are done, click the red button again to stop the recording. If the recording was correct, you can select insert math. The next feature is called Equatio Mobile, which is the option on the toolbar icon that looks like a cell phone. 
the toolbar will expand and you will see a link to the Equatio mobile website or you can use a mobile product and scan the QR code. If you're using a specific device, you must use only the supported browsers listed here. The current document that you're working on is called My Active Document. I'm going to go back and click on Equatio Mobile so I can conveniently click on this mobile link. Once on the website, it will search for your active documents. Once located, you can select the document and you will notice you have three options available to input your math into Equatio, either by writing, speaking, or taking a photo with your camera. We have already seen how the writing and speech input works, so I want to show you the camera feature and why this might be useful. If you select the camera option, you can take any handwritten math either from a textbook or lecture notes and select the capture button. Once the image is captured, you can then use the dialog box to ensure all the math was captured inside the window. When finished, select the green circle with the white check mark and then you will need to select one of two options. The math can be converted from paper and pencil to digitized math or you can save it as an image. When you click save as math, notice that the math was captured accurately. I can then insert the digitized math into my document. Equatio is a great tool for users to convert their math digitally and have a variety of input options to choose from. Once your document is complete, you can save the file and even share it with others for collaboration purposes or submitting your work electronically.